Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a LEMP server on DigitalOcean. Now, what the heck is LEMP? LEMP is Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP. So, yes, it, Nginx starts with an N, it's N G I N X, but it sounds like an E, so that's why they do L E M P. Um, this is very similar to a LAMP server, which is Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, but instead of Apache, we're using Nginx. So, Whatever. Without any further ado, let's look at how to actually do this in DigitalOcean. So I'm here logged into DigitalOcean. Once you are to, you can come up here to the upper right hand corner and click on create and droplet. And once we are here, yep, once we're here under the choose an image section, uh, we want to go to the marketplace. And you'll see here that there's a lamp server option available, but we want LEMP, L-E-M-P. So Let's click on see all marketplace apps here and uh, we can we can scroll through here and see what they got going on. But I think the easiest thing to do is to search just for LEMP and there we go. Uh, there we OK, so this is uh, this is a overview of what we're going to be, um, what's going to be installed, what software is going to be installed. So like I said, we have Nginx, that's the E, we have the MySQL server, that's the M, PHP, that's the P and the L for Linux is going to be uh, Ubuntu version 18.04. So that looks good. Um, we can click on create lemp droplet here. And once this fish finishes swimming. Okay, so under, so we have our lemp ch choose, chose, we have, we have chosen our lemp server as our image. Um, for the plan, um, so any any plan in DigitalOcean under, under the standard section here is going to have shared resources, shared CPU, shared RAM. Uh, for my purposes, I'm going to do one of these performance um, options. And the cheapest one here is CPU optimized for $40 a month. Uh, you can also do general purpose or memory optimized. But like I said, I'm going to choose the CPU optimized option here. And again, this doesn't matter which one you choose. Any of these will work. So we'll go down here, choose a data center region. San Francisco is good for me. Um, I have my SSH keys already selected and configured here. So that just allows me to log in via SSH as root without typing a password. Um, if that's something you are interested in, definitely go ahead and add your SSH keys here. Uh, the host name's fine. We want one droplet and blah, blah, blah. Everything looks good. So let's create this droplet. And this process usually takes about you know, a minute or so, probably less. And you can see here that I actually, in a in another video, I set up a LAMP server. So we already have that up and running here. And uh, we just got to wait for this to finish. So in anticipation of that, I'm going to open up a new terminal window. And we're going to, it's almost done. So yeah, so we got our IP address here for our LAMP server. So let's copy that. And over in our terminal window, you can just type in SSH root at this IP address, hit enter, and it's going to do its thing. Uh, okay, so it's, I think it's not set up just yet, even though the interface um, seems like it is. So let's just make sure everything looks good. Yes, we copy the IP address right. Let's try that again. Hopefully everything's working. Okay, so that was just a, um, my explanation for that is there is still stuff running in the background on the server that didn't allow us to log in. So we're ready to go now. Let's type in yes, we wanna continue connecting. And like I said, because I have my SSH keys already um, associated with this server, with that option to, that you saw on the previous screen, I don't have to type in a password. So we are now logged into the LEMP server. Um, and that's pretty much the end of this video. Anything outside of this scope, you can probably find another video on my YouTube channel if you're interested in like server administration or setting up your database or setting up a WordPress website. Uh, definitely have a look around for some of those videos on this channel, especially if you like this, this type of video and uh, if you like me as a person who is helping you through that process. So. Um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought below. Give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it and you want to see more, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. If you do, I will see you in the next one.